How are we doing, guys? Uh, just put a blog post together regarding the 12 week challenge we're running from RM Fitness. Um, it's due to start the week beginning the 9th of January. The challenge um, up to date has, has uh, generated a lot of um, a lot of inquiries, and there's a lot of people already signed up. If people are sure about the details, that they've signed up already. Um, just to make it clear, the challenge is limited to a small um, handful of people. We're not going to be accepting everybody that, that wants to do the challenge. Hence, people have got to apply by emailing admin at rmfitness.co.uk and then we're going to select the people that we feel A, have got potential for improvement and B, that they're actually going to stick to the plan and, and, and produce some good results because they've got the mental ability. So you'll have to forgive me because I'm actually going to read um, this video off, off a document that I'm going to email out to the people that have already applied. I'm going to try and get this in a note or something and put it on Facebook so people can see what's involved because there's a lot of people that I think want to want to do it that probably aren't maybe sure because they're, they're not sure about the details so i'm trying to make things as clear as possible videos for me always work better than than reading uh, often people can't be bothered to read a long email with the details so the background of the challenge anyway it's something i've always done i've always 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 in my um you know years has been a, a personal trainer put people into some kind of challenge situation whether that be one-on-one -on -one or whether that be in a group um you know, I've produced really good results both ways. I just think having a start point and an end point for people works, okay? It's a fixed period of time, especially in January when you feel shitty from all the Christmas binging. So that's the first thing is it's a long history, at, at both while we've been in this gym, but also before I was in this gym and I was working out of other people's gyms. It's something I've always done and it's always produced good results. We've got a couple behind me there on the wall, but to get to be honest, there's only a few there that, that up on this wall here that I've we've put together quickly. There's There's... Even since we've been in this gym in the last two years, there must be five or six times as many as that. People have gone through and had a picture took at the start and at the end and, and, and seen a measurable difference. Um, the last challenge we did saw the Wigan Evening Post reporter Phil Wilkinson um, drop well over three stone in body fat. His actual weight loss on the scales was, was, was two stone, just over just one pound over two stone, if I remember correctly. Um, but then he, he also put muscle on as well, so he, he's dropped up well over three stone in body fat. You can see the before and after pictures on our website. He blogged this um, as he was going along in the newspaper. Um, every week he wrote like about his about his the success he was having and about different training methods we were doing. So that's somebody who you know is pinning down a full time job, a part time job. He also writes books for famous rugby players like uh, Adrian Morley, Chris Radlinski, people like that. He's got a big work schedule. Um, He's got a wife that works full time. He's got three kids. So if he can do that, then anyone can do it, and people do do it. Um, okay. So the challenge, and for the specific details, it's for both men and women. It's for existing RM Fitness members, and it's for non-members can can join onto it as well. It isn't just for our members, and it's also for different body types. So there's going to be people joining that need to lose a lot of weight on the scales. There's going to be people that might only need to lose like a few pounds on the scales, but the transformation might be big because they might be losing a lot of body fat and gaining some muscle tissue and the weight. It's not necessarily a weight loss challenge, that's what I'm trying to get, it's a body transformation challenge. So we're not just judging it on like how many pounds you can lose. We're going to measure you on a before and after picture, which I'm going to talk to you about in, in, uh, after. We're going to measure you on with a tape measure, different sites for men and women. Uh, we're going to measure your weight and we're going to measure your body fat. So for me, you can't get any more accurate testing than that because um, you know we're looking at all parameters there. Um, so the goal of the challenge is obviously to create this, this body transformation over a 12-week period of time. For that 12-week period, you're going to be assigned a member of staff that's going to look after you. Um, and, you know, each member of staff might have like so many, so many people on the challenge to look after, and that's your point of contact. Your training, this is a big one. Let me get a bit of this green tea in me. Your training is just normal. This is a big thing what I think people don't understand on this challenge. So you have to train in RM Fitness three times a week. That's so we can keep an eye on you. That can be three PT sessions a week. It can be one PT session and two boot camps. It can be two PT sessions and two boot camps. It can be any combination, but you have to be in RM Fitness three days a week minimum. So the different products that are going to be available in 2012, we've got obviously personal training still, one-on-one. -on -one. We've got the boot camp as per normal. We've then got this new strength and conditioning centre opening across the road, which is going to be initially for Boot Camp Extreme, which is going to be another one of these videos explaining what that's about. But this is just to let you know that there are other ways to get your sessions in other than just the boot camp. And then finally, I'm possibly looking at putting some boxing sessions on. Uh, we used to run something called Box Fit, which was like pay-as-you-go sessions, just rock up, pay, 
do your boxing, bugger off. They're going to be on a Tuesday and Thursday, most likely. Don't hold me to that, but I'm looking at doing that to help you guys out while this challenge is on. Um, so to reiterate, you, you as well, you're not training in a group. You're just doing your normal training over that 12-week period in here three days a week. And there might be nobody on the 12-week challenge in that group you're training in the morning at 6.30 at boot camp. And then there might be a load of you at, at the 6.30 at night class. So there's going to be, you know what I mean, you're not always with that same group of people. Um, what else is important on here? Right, what is required of you? So, firstly, we're looking for people who've got the desire to improve their, their body shape and, and the people that want to move forward. You've got to want to do it for yourself. No one can make you want to do it. You've got to have the then the follow through. Okay, so wanting it isn't enough. You've then got to have follow through uh, and discipline to stick to a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle for the 12 weeks. We're going to give you support on those areas as well. You've got to complete a food diary, then you're accountable to us, and we might request that you bring that in at any point, and you've got to have that up to date. Training our and fitness, like we say, minimum of three times a week. You've got to do your best to attend any extra meetings, seminars, workshops that we might put on. We might not put them on, but in the past we have done, um, and that is just on, on an ad hoc basis. The, the beauty about personal training is it do, it's done one-on-one, -on -one, and we will give the clients exactly what they need. If you're on a boot camp program or any type of program, you have to fit into the program. So I'm running this more like a one-on-one -on -one aspect. Well, we're taking aspects of one-on-one -on -one in it. So if I think after three weeks, everybody is struggling with what to eat first thing in the morning before training, what to eat last thing at night, uh, stress hormones. If, if I think people are struggling with a certain thing, I'll put a nutrition seminar on or I'll do a video or get everybody in. If it's a technique-related thing and people are saying, well, we feel we want to get more out of the boot camp sessions because our technique's not where it needs to be, then I'll put a, a workshop on. So um, you'll have to forgive me for the fact that I'm not saying up front what I'm doing because I will just see what, what is needed and I will just put it on for you because we're basically doing whatever we've got to do to get results with you. Okay, you have to display an action taker's positive mindset at all times. So what this means is, what I can't be doing with in general is people who have a can't do, I can't do attitude. This will not work for me because I am busy, I am stressed, I've got three kids, blah, blah, blah. Then if you've got that attitude, this is not for you. The other types of training we do might be because it, it might well move you forward, but we only, we're only working with a hand-picked group of people for this challenge because we need to have people that are going to move forward and I appreciate not everybody's at that point in their life where they can move forward and I understand that and I'm fine with that but for this challenge you have to be in that place mentally where you're going to give it you know you're going to give it what I would say an honest effort an honest effort is doing your best isn't it um terms and conditions uh I'll not go into too much detail there's only three or four but basically your entry fee is 35 pounds this has got to be paid by the 7th of January at the latest. Um, this covers two things. One, I feel that you've got to buy into something like this. I think if it's free, then how do we decide who's doing the challenge, who's not doing it? And I think 35 quid's a fair price, and I think that that's enough to pay. Think, well, I've paid for it, I'm going to do it, and it'll psychologically commit you. That's the main reason why there's a 35 quid entering fee. The second reason is obviously the extra admin. You know, there's going to be seminars chucked on, possibly. The staff have got to um, look after you, we've got to pay the staff, we've got to do your before and after pictures, all those things. Um, right. Point number four on the on the on the terms and conditions. So we are going to be taking before and after photos as a requirement of this challenge. Now, this the logistics of this is going to be done in one of the changing rooms. It's a private room, and it will be done with the same sex member of staff. So if you're female, then you'll have a female trainer taking your pictures. It's just going to be like a front, side, back picture. Women you need to wear a sports bra or a crop top. Men, you need to wear shorts, or, or at least bring these items with you to get changed into. And, and obviously, your shirts will be off. Um, the the sensitivity of, of the, the photos is, is probably something worth mentioning. What will happen after your pictures have been took is they'll get put on the, the RM Fitness computer um, and not everyone will have access to those. Now, at the end of, of, of the challenge, we'll be retaking these photos. Now, if they're no good, then we won't use them. It's not in our interest to put, put crap results on, on the website or anywhere. Um, but if they are good, then then you sign in this terms and conditions to say that we can use you for for any uh, you know any any posters that we do in the future. Um, what's absolutely critical is that this doesn't put you off. Um, you know, I've done a before picture because I'm doing my own personal challenge um, starting in, in well, starting now actually. But I've done my own picture. I'm probably feeling the worst condition I've ever been in my life because obviously me and Michelle have just had the babies, and, and prior to that, um, you know, I was very 
work orientated, making sure that everything was up and running in Iron Fitness for the members. And and to be honest, I've been guilty looking after myself. So you probably can't tell in a t-shirt, do you know what I mean? But I don't feel at my best, and I wouldn't. I I would. I wouldn't want everybody seeing a picture. And so the point I'm getting across is. You can't let that put you across, put you off. Because when I looked at my picture, I thought, oh, "Fucking hell, that you know what I mean." I, I'm in, not in as good a shape as I as I, as I normally am, and that's motivated me. And I'll do a picture again at a set point in time, and I know I'll feel really good after. So you've just got to see it for for what it is. Really, it is a picture, uh, just to maybe it might shock you, but at the same time, like when you've got your results at the end, you'll be so grateful, and you can ask anyone that's ever done any personal training with me and I've took a picture or a challenge. You'd be really grateful at the end that you've you've got that before and after um, picture. Okay, the measurements. The measurements can be done any point next week at our if, if, while you're in our and fitness because we've got to be practical about things. Bearing in mind, you cannot do the body fat measurement after a training session because it affects the the tinnitus body fat scales. Okay, so if you're going to get that done, you need to get it done before um, before the training session. So it's going to be weight body fat, inches and picture. But the picture has got to be done on the Saturday morning of the 7th. Okay, Saturday morning 7th, 8 o'clock, everybody comes in, everybody gets the pictures done. If everybody wants to get the body fat and everything else done, we've got enough time and I would probably suggest that as being a good way forward really, if everybody gets it done at the same time. Um, Make sure that the day before you drink enough water, so on the Friday, women two litres, men three litres, because it does affect the scales, and I'd probably just try and chug a, a pint of water down in the morning before you come in as well. If you're dehydrated, it does affect your readings. Um, what else is important here? Right, last thing now is, basically, it's high... Oh, well, I'll tell you one thing, actually. If you can't make that Saturday morning, email me at admin at rmfitness.co.uk because we will arrange another time for it. If it's only, like, the odd couple of people and we've got to come in and, and take your pictures, then we just need to arrange a slot to, to get that done. No no problem at all, but I would prefer if if people could get to that 8 a.m. slot. Incidentally, we've moved the boot camp out of that slot. Um, there's a lot of people enrolled on this challenge, so... Um, we need to make sure that we're getting them done. So between 8 and 9, it's going to be four tours. 9 and 10 a.m. is going to be the two boot camps as opposed to the 8 and 9 a.m. slots that, that's normal. Week after, it's back to normal. How to apply. Okay, if you've already applied, then that's fine. Okay, you just need to bring your £35 entrance fee in no later than the 6th of January, which is the Friday next week. So um, that's fine for you guys. Um, I'm hoping this video clears it up. For, for I've had tons and tons of emails and Facebook messages of people asking me details. I hope I've covered everything. Um, so if you've watched this video and think, yep, this is for me, then if you drop an email to admin at rmfitness.co.uk with your full name and your mobile number on, then we will uh, put you on the database for people that have applied. I'm basically going to screen all the applications um, next week and I'm going to confirm with people that have got a place on the challenge and I'm going to um, obviously inform the people that haven't got a, that have been unsex, unsuccessful on getting a place on the challenge as well. So I know this has been a bit quick, um, I've just basically read it off this document that I'm going to email out to everybody but I hope that sort of cleared things up for you a little bit. Um, if there is anything, any other questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Can you try and do that in a public way if, if possible, so like a Facebook um, comment on my wall or, or preferably actually on the RM Fitness wall not my personal one and then everybody can see it rather than if you're just inboxing me and I'm like replying to like tons of people and I'm essentially saying the same thing um, so just put it on the Facebook wall. Have a great new year guys, have a serious think about whether you want to do this challenge or not, it is only for people that are going to commit to it for the 12 weeks and get some results but if you do want to you know change your body shape a lot then, then this is perhaps the, the thing for you. Um, Alright, have a good new year.